Watch that stress out like it was shampoo. You should stay. It can change. There's good days and bad days. But one day down the line, this time is sure to stop. So the only time is now for the club. That's it. I've hit the sack. What? It's nine o'clock. Oh, and um, remember to fart quietly tonight, yeah? Oi! Ow. Night. Uh, interview. Oh, well done. Elsmere, is that a good idea? Why not? Secretary's a secretary. Well, Nero's not going to like that. It would be nice for him to have a friendly face around. I don't think you should tell him. Not unless you get it. Yeah, it'd be a nice surprise. Well, surprise. £60 from a first DJ kick. Wow. Hey, you enjoy my balloons? Yeah, great, Ash. Um, just don't mention the whole DJing thing around my mum, yeah? She'll crack her sprocket. Is this you with the tweenies? Hilarious. So look. No, give me that, man. Look, I was like six years old and it happened at a shopping mall. These things happen. Well, you shouldn't have let it happen. You should have fought them off. Hey, you can't hit a tweenie. That is unacceptable. Here you go, boys. Biscuits! Brilliant. Thank you, Mrs. Carter. Maybe it's good to have one also, please. Of course you can, Isaac. Very polite. You should have more friends like Isaac, Josh. <laughs> so, uh, where's your music stuff anyway? Right here. Oh, gross. Nice. Hey, Josh. Get your cyber pants off my stuff, man. I ain't got cyber pants. Oh, yeah, so why do you got labels with your name on? You saw labels in your pants? Of course I don't. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, what's going on? Josh shit making fun of Nero's pants. Josh, stop making fun of Nero's pants. Will everyone stop saying pants? Well, tell him to get his baby trolleys off of my stuff. OK, look, Josh, stop getting at Nero and go and put those in the wash. Nero, go and get your pants off of Josh's stuff. Now. An interview? Oh, what? Hugo, what are you doing? Lying on a bench. Texting. Sit up. Stop relaxing. What's this? A bench. Dedicated to Mrs. O'Brien with the thanks of the Parents Association. How did you get them to buy this? I don't know. I'm not the bench, Professor. Just... Go away. What'd you do that for? I can't be honest, it's not the reaction I was expecting. It's just a bit of fun. You have heard of fun, right? I've got a problem. No sitting on the step. You know the rule. What kind of layman makes rules about steps? I did. And very sensibly so, miss. You know, it's always good to keep us young ones in check. You know, kids. Nice try. Detention. 
This place is so distressing. They, they never let you do anything. Yeah, so imagine what it'll be like when my auntie gets here. What? Yeah, she's got an interview at half nine, and I need to think of a way to fudge it up. Any ideas? What about a fat bomb, you know? It's like a water bomb, only fattier. Guess what? The Daleks called. They want their pants back. Shut up. Yeah, that is stupid. Daleks don't wear pants. Look, just forget my pants. Anyway, guess what I bought for show and tell? You've got show and tell? I've got a my nautical awareness badge. We oh, ain't really, you spoon. Look at this. And tell me he's a baby. Check your Josh's hand away. Is that the actual Tweedies? Cool. How is that cool? I don't know, man. It's not everyone that gets to hang out with the stars. You know, guys, I met Matilda Chubbies once outside a carpet shop in Leicester. But I'm not sure it was an actual Matilda Chubbies. Also, it was a dream. Look, am I the only person here who thinks this makes Josh look like a total prawn? Right. Stuff is wasted on you guys. Meeting with Mrs. Hussein, Parents Association. Oh, I see. I get it. She wants to be the only one who gets the credit. As if she's the only head and me, I can't contest it. I get all the crumbs and she gets all the best bits. Nice big bench, big name on the stationery. Nice big chair over there for assembly. Nice big desk so nothing gets cluttered. Nice big office. I'm in a cupboard. If I'd imagine that I'd ever become a co-head teacher, I'd have never begun. Two heads are never better than one. Two heads are never better than one. Next, you'll be getting all the governors on her side. Put me on ice so she can take them for a ride. But I know how to fight and fix things well. She's underestimating Crispin Bell. If I'd imagine that I'd ever become a co-head teacher, I'd have never begun. Two heads are never better than one. Two heads are never better than one. Mr. Harris. I'd like you out of my room, please. But this is my room for detention. No. Now it's my new office. Detention has been relocated to the old woodwork block. The woodwork block? What? The one with the rats that's falling down? It isn't falling down. It's just vintage, that's all. Anyway, I haven't got time to debate. I've got secretaries to interview. Have all of your fluff moved by tomorrow. What do you think? I think you've had a terrible idea. What? No, OK. Your auntie, splat, yeah? She is covered in lard. That is a bad interview technique. Who wants to hire a greasy secretary? It's genius. Right, she's coming. You doing this or what? OK, yeah. Let's do it. Now. 
Just really need the toilet, sir. Oh, free it, please. I can't wait. It's leaking out, sir. Get back here! Now! Oh, my flipping doodles. That is so shameful, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Where did you get this? That's just me. Shouldn't be laughing at other people's personal stuff. What are you saying? We should live in a world where people don't get laughed at. What is wrong with you? I'm gonna give it back to Josh. No way! Get your spam grab hands off it! It's mine! No, it ain't, it's Josh. Exactly! Give it back to it! Sure! Give it to me! I do apologise, Mrs Johnson. Yes. Sorry that you had to witness that outrage. No doubt connected to the ongoing, long-standing Thalmere discipline problems. Uh, oh. Well, let's get started. Uh, we actually started ten minutes ago. Mm. That's what you call fun. I've never had to spend a lesson I didn't with the bog brushes before. That's because you've never lubricated dingo before. Because I never wanted to. We're in deep chuck, well, Relax, man. Just do what I do. Smile and style it out. Smiley's not going to cut it. Don't know we skipped class. We missed Miss Parkwood's class. We'll be fine. Like how? Watch. Hey, Miss Parkwood. Uh, nice lesson this morning. Sorry, what? Nice lesson, just now. It was uh, well fascinating. All right, thanks. I was there too. Like lard ninjas. Yeah, ninjas what bomb the wrong person. We haven't stopped you on it getting the job, have we? It's always worse than you think. So, all right, boys. Do you want to explain why you've got oil on your jumpers? Oh, hormones? Heads off this, now. Sixty quid. Think where you could buy in Poundland. Sixty things. Well, and if no one claims it, who's going to claim it? Well, after you hand it in, I ain't handing this in. I've claimed it. But you have to hand it in. Think what Baden Powell would do. You know what, mate? I, I think he'd keep it. No, think he'd hand it in, then wait to see if anyone claimed it. No way. Man, I've got plans for this money. I'm telling you. What money's this? I was just come to hand this in. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Come on, you lot get in. Hurry up. Caught these three masterminds fleeing the scene of the attack. I'm loving the look, sir. Very sports casual. Hey, Auntie. How's it going? Uh, he's your nephew. Oh, we're not close. <laughs> sure we are. She lives on our sofa. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Nero has something to say. Nero? What have you done? Mum, what are you doing here? And he's your son. Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Johnson. I think that'll be all. If you could send in the next candidate. Oh, I found this, sir, and I thought I should hand it in. It's very honest of you. Hmm? 60 pounds. Where'd you get that money from? It's mine. It was in there. No, it's not. I found it under the lockers. How would you come by 60 pounds? I earned it. You have a job? I did a DJ gig on Saturday night. A likely story. Where's your payslip? What, from the pit? A letter, then, from your employer? What, from Angry Dave? He weren't DJing, he was in bed. It's true, he went to bed early. Yeah, but that's what... Lying and laying false claim to money. And throwing fat bombs. I'll be writing to all three of your parents. And you, young man, you'll get a reward if nobody claims this by tomorrow. Yes, awesome. You do your mother a great credit. So you say you can start tomorrow? <laughs> Whoa. Anybody got a double-crossing little cousin? Ooh. 
who you thought was cool but then you found out that he wasn't should have known the moment when he stepped into my home yeah. and left his pants in every single spot except his own yeah. but this is worse than using all my stuff without permission laptop headphones cds missing one time when he was in the bog for ages caught him using my toothbrush for cleaning off his trainers now showing around my kiddie photo pages is outrageous but next level status is the taking of my wages what he thinks it might be plain sailing at the top just because he tricked the school to give his mum a job I know what it's like to have an elder on the staff And when he realises that it's hell I'll have to laugh But first I gotta make it hell and that I'll guarantee Cause Nero may be smart but he ain't half the man as me Yo. 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 Baby once he was a friend to me Now he's my new best enemy Now he's my new best enemy Now he's my new best enemy Baby once he was a friend to me now he's my new best friend So if he thinks this is some big funny act Watch, I'm gonna get him and my one Black, 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 black. I can't go on next We've got plenty of time No, but, um, I'm late for early next Maybe he's a bit embarrassed Well, of course he ain't He was telling me how lovely it would be to see more of you Oh, oh but he, um, he forgot his embroidery kit, though he does embroidery? Yeah, and he's got textile second period. It's a shame there's not, like, a convenient way to get it to him. I'll do it. OK. He can see me, then. Super. Agnes! How would you like to get your hands on a share of 60 quid? So, what are you going to spend your 60 quid on? On a music setup. One day there's going to be one of them blue plaques. Nero Johnson will do. Legend. Really? I was thinking of new pants. Nira, is that your mum? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I've got a new embroidery kit for you. Love you, darling. Love you. <laughs> Can you sew my new badge on? <laughs> this is so discriminatory thingy. I don't see why she gets to do it. I'm like, well, I'm better than her. Why should she get cut of your money? I like money. Look, Zoe Marie, so just let Agnes do it. She's better. I believe Mrs. O'Brien has a meeting with the head of the Parents Association coming up. Um, right. <laughs> yes, there's one in the diary for next week. Could you put one in for me? Uh-huh. Before hers. Uh-huh. And in my new office. Oh! Hello, Elmsmere Manor. Good morning. Um, may I speak to Mr. Bell, please? Yes, it's regarding a student of yours, Josh Carter. That is well unconvincing. I can well tell it's her. I'm not just looking to see her talking. Shh. Hold, please. You're saying I'm no good at talking on the phone. I'm like a phone-talking girl. Shh. Don't shush me. Give me that. Oh, but, but, what please, please, just do well, well, well. OK. Hello? Hello, I'm Mrs Far for Far, calling from my delightful nightclub, The Pit. It's coming to my, you know, whatever. You're saying Josh Carter... Never done a CD thing, Volvo Bush music there, when in fact he toasted. So that £60 is like, whatever, do I make myself clear? Whoever you are, I will find you, and I will... Leave this to me. What was that, you Jeff and Troll? You totally miffed it. What do you know? You can't act. You couldn't even act as yourself in your own life. What's that even supposed to mean? And what am I going to do now? Mrs Far for Far, I presume. I can't believe your aunt dubbed you in. I'm me, she's even my auntie. This is cold and it smells and if I see a rat, I'm calling Childline. I know. It's put me right off doing detention. Come on, it's not as bad as it looks. Well, it is as bad as it looks, but, you know, we'll do it up. Get rid of this poster. Or replace it for another poster. 
It stinks. Leave Sarah alone. I'm sure they need our old room for a very good reason. Oh, there you are. Man of the moment. Uh, and here is your reward. What's that? It's your reward. In view of your good example, I don't think that five pounds is too much on this occasion. What do you say? Rip me off. Five pound. It's just out of order. Yeah. It's not nice when someone jacks your money, is it? How would you know about it? Josh! Monster set the other night. What? You were there? Yeah. I went to school with Angry Dave. So that was your money? Did I fall? Just was a line. It actually was his money. Oh, I see. And this miraculous discovery has nothing to do with the fact that you want a bigger reward. What? No. It that seems very suspicious. Almost as if the two of you have agreed to claim the money and split it between you. <laughs> Ask Miss Parkwood. She saw me DJing. DJing in a nightclub. Yes. Then I'm going to have to refer this to the relevant authorities. Oh, what? You're 15. It's illegal. The nightclub will have to be investigated and your parents informed. Actually, um, yeah, I just realised I didn't actually do anything. Um, Miss Parkwood saw nothing as well, so... Really? What a surprise. I'm not a complete idiot, cart horse. In any case, the money's already been spent. And something to benefit the whole school. The Crispin Bell Memorial Bench. He ain't even dead. It ain't even his bench. Like, he used my money to get that. You know what? We should have the Josh Carter Memorial Bench. Mm. Two right. Mm. Josh, you can sit on your bench. To where shall you go, my lord? Take this bench to the bins. Bench. <laughs> now, nah, mate, it's well of you on. You're going to have to get off. Here. Put that down. Attention. All of you. No one is to touch this bench. It's to stay exactly where it is. Exactly. Look, it don't make no sense. My cash gets jacked and spent on a bench. I wish I could line up every single teacher's behind. Pull on the world's biggest boot and let fly. Yeah, I try to do the right thing. All I get's attention. Line writing. Hope so, cause I do a hundred pages. Say school stinks, school stinks like the ages. While we're stuck in this temple of doom. Ding dong, next our detention room. We're like a football catcher run by him and O'Brien. With a crooked referee who loves lying. It really is so thingy If I'm going down, I'm taking the school with me Cause teachers and whatever and that, they're so dirt I'm like, sure, they're like, no, I'm like, play But why is it so surprising? Of course it's unfair, that's basically what life is Everything will turn out rubbish, don't you get it? School is always meant to be unfair, so just accept it It ain't fair, it ain't fair What about children's rights that they care? We're in. Come on, hurry up, quickly. Chill. Who are you telling to chill? Shh. And what do you lot want? Well... What on earth are you doing in here? Ah! <laughs> oh, Mr Bell told me to move the four o'clock club into here. Yeah, he's um, using our old room as an office mess. Is he? Who did you back into the old room immediately? But... Immediately, Mr Harris. I'm so glad you could make it. I wanted to meet with the Parents' Association. Tell them a few of my ideas. Sorry, why are we...? There is. It's embarrassing. It's just something that was, uh, bought in dedication to me. Yes, I think we bought one of those for Mrs O'Brien once. Did you? Really? I didn't know.
office is actually an old classroom. All right. I think it's very important to get in and amongst the students. about that mix-up. Perhaps we should uh, head to my old office. Another bench dedicated to you, Mr. Bum. Yes? Shall we? Hmm. And I don't know, I mean, do we really need art subjects at all? Just a thought. Crispin! Yes, Ming! What are you doing here? I'm meeting Mr. Bell. Oh, I see. Well, Crispin, I'd like to have a word with you about placing children in a condemned building. Yes. Good, excellent. We should talk about that. But I don't think uh, Mrs. Hussein wants to hear about all our nonsense. <laughs> Why don't you come into my office? Um, exactly what level of school funds are being used in dedicating benches to you, Mr. Bell? Perhaps we should take this elsewhere. Yes, maybe we should. Yes, that's a good idea. What's the nice bench you got there, sir? Is this anything to do with you, Carter? It has your name on it. Just get it out of my sight. I can't believe your mum never found out about that gig. No way, you well got away with that one. Um, my bucks got spent on garden furniture. I hardly call that getting away with it. Although, this is nice. Yeah, it's alright, you know. You! No sitting on the steps! Unless we're sitting on a bench. Yes. Right, so you are. well spent. <laughs> can't live with them and you can't kick them out. When they're up, they rub it in your face. Kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always gonna be around. Gotta find a common ground. If you know so much about me, where do I go from here? If you see them every day, you can never get away. Only time to go to bus. Fuck up.